Hey, what's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sound Attack once again. Today, we're going to ask and answer the simple question WTF is Cortex cryptocurrency? Yes, we know it's super profitable for mining, but if there's no meat behind the potatoes, behind the potatoes? Yeah, we'll go with that. Then why would we mine it? There's no potential of it actually doing anything, which would mean if there's no future for it, then it's probably not worth mining. The price in a lot of cases is the reason you do mine, but you need to also know if you're going to hold and that sort of thing. So we're going to go over what Cortex cryptocurrency is right after a word from our sponsor. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people alike on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and even cryptocurrency. As a content creator and cryptocurrency enthusiast, Skillshare offers me the tools to sharpen my videography skills with classes like Video on a Budget, Prepare for Your Shoot Without Breaking the Bank, and for cryptocurrency, Accounting 101, Accounting Rules for Crypto and Bitcoin. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they are always launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Very simply put, Cortex is the first decentralized world computer capable of running AI and AI powered dApps on the blockchain. So yes, that does mean that it is an application coin with a very specific focus on AI, which is artificial intelligence. It is claiming to be the first blockchain to essentially allow artificial intelligence executions on the blockchain itself, as opposed to being passed off to a centralized server to handle the AI portions of it. It does appear to be single chain, but we'll talk about what their plans are, of course, for scalability here in just a second. And the backend development is Solidity. So we are talking it's going to be the same for the programming language as Ethereum or Tron at this point. The execution environment is a Cortex virtual machine and that is an EVM compatible machine with added AI features that utilizes the GPU allowing developers to use Solidity language with their unique infer instructions to call the algorithms. One thing I found super awesome is the nodes run on a GTX 1060 or MX150 at the minimum. You can go up to 1080 Ti's and that is kind of the, the way that they are facilitating the AI features. Scalability, like we said earlier, which we wanted to cover, is it will scale by working on possible layer one or layer two solutions. So we've talked about layer one and layer two solutions with Ethereum, if you need to get an idea on one of those. Yes, we aren't going multi-chain here. It does appear to be single chain, but they're planning on resolving that with, of course, layer one and layer two solutions, as opposed to maybe forking and going to a Cortex 2.0 with proof of stake and yeah, you guys get the point. So consensus mechanism is going to be proof of work, which is why it is something that we are able to mine as well as something that, you know, is currently profitable. So they use a algorithm called Cuckoo Cycle and they state that it is the most promising ASIC resistant proof of work algorithm to establish a friendly mining environment. Anti-ASIC is a firm belief in Cortex in order to lower the mining requirements to lay the foundation for future scalability in AI computing demand. So I think just from the base of them being in the GPUs to utilize for AI, it does appear to be a pretty promising proposition for GPU miners here. You can tell that they are very concerned with at least making sure it's ASIC resistant because of kind of just the base of the project, which is good news. So if you are a GPU miner, then you can rest assured they are attempting to do that. Now, as a part of that, we do need to talk a little bit about the economics. And with the economics, Cortex coins will be classically capped at 299,792,458 coins. And 150 million of those will be issued via mining. The mining has already begun and hopefully by this time we will also have a how to mine cortex 
video up for you guys as well. So let's talk about the fees. The fees use endorphin, which is essentially gas in Ethereum. And this is to prevent abuse of the Cortex network. A fee is charged for each computational step executed in a transaction. Endorphin is a unit that measures the computational effort required for every transaction made on Cortex. The sender of each transaction is required to include an endorphin limit and an endorphin price. Transaction fee equals endorphin limit times endorphin price. The higher the endorphin price, the more likely and quicker miners will execute and verify the transaction. So you do have the potential for larger block rewards on Cortex as a miner based on basically the transactions going up as demand for those transactions go up, right? So the fees go up as the demand for the transactions go up. There we go. So for AI interference, generally speaking, the cost of an endorphin is proportional to the size of the AI model. Cortex also sets an upper bound of one gigabyte on the parameter size of the model corresponding to up to about 2 billion float 32 parameters. Unlike traditional blockchains where all of the blocks rewards go to the miner, however, on Cortex, a portion of the block reward goes to the model providers to incentivize them to optimize better models. So everything here sounds super good. That is my version of their white paper. I like to go over things like fees. I like to go over execution environments, programming languages, consensus mechanisms, all that sort of thing. The real question is, is anything really being done on it? And right now it does appear that there's there are some projects, but it isn't like something like Ethereum. There are NFT opportunities as well on Cortex. And to give you guys an idea of their documentation, I wanted to show you guys, here is their main page. And then they have a super awesome GitHub. And I wanted to point this out because if you guys want to know anything about Cortex, you can head on over to the GitHub and get all of it. One of my favorite things that they have here is a Hello World tutorial, which will facilitate the stand up of an example blockchain capable of executing AI, which is awesome that you can come in and start learning right off the bat. So it does have essentially the ability to function as of now you are able to do it it's not locked down to any particular group or anything like that and as you can see here we already have it pulled up here is basically the console window if you want to get started working in it obviously with the documentation that they have provided so all of this is very good news they have ways for you to start interacting with it utilizing it and developing on it, which is something I'm always looking for in a coin just in general. Now I have joined their telegram and I'm asking some additional questions. So if you guys would like a deep dive, definitely let me know. And then finally, let's go ahead and talk about price. As you can see here, they had a huge bump way back in the day or that 2018 bubble that popped. And they've been kind of steadily declining with a slight rise here recently. So as you can see, we're just kind of going up and up and up and up again, sort of following the pattern of Bitcoin. So just like with any uh, anything else, unfortunately, right now, it's going to follow that Bitcoin pattern like we've talked about in the past. But this is good news, essentially, at this point for miners, because we are getting some proof of work coins that are going up in price. Now, from the perspective of mining, you have a few pools, only about six pools, with two miners being number one, Wooly Pool coming in number two, and then, of course, you have Hero Miners in there, and the rest I haven't really checked out in the past. Two Miners does have a majority of the hash rate, so if you are getting good ping to Two Miners, you can go ahead and check that out. Me, personally, I'm not, so I'm currently on Hero Miners, but that just helps, obviously, with the decentralization of the project. The difficulty has actually been going down a little bit. So that's good news for miners. If you're looking at getting in and generating some funds, there is that. And the price is pretty much kind of, like I said before, following the Bitcoin. So what are my thoughts on Cortex? Well, at first I was pretty kind of cautious about it because, you know, as with anything else, you see a lot of these mineable coins and they'll pump for a day and it'll look like that's what's going to be profitable. Then it'll go back down and so on and so forth. But in this particular case, I think they have a solid project. They have been around since 2018, since the bubble. 
and probably got a huge that huge price increase basically based on being AI executable executable on the blockchain and then they kind of dive down with the bubble and they're going through their steps it does appear that they are finishing off or actually showing progress on their white papers as well as their roadmaps so that's a good sign and just the fact that you have the tools there to start developing on it means that it's already ahead of the game uh, with pretty much anybody else so if there is going to be a cryptocurrency coin or a blockchain that is going to function with AI executing on the blockchain. Cortex has a head start by a, by a mile, and that's really good news. Now, we did mention the nodes. The nodes you don't get paid out for, but if you have some 1063 gigs laying around and you want to support the network, consider spinning up a node. If you would like a how-to, let me know in the comment section below and we will work on getting a node how-to out. I feel like I have a ton of content to get to. I am trying to get to it as quickly as possible for you guys. Two videos a day on this channel. So not only that, I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here. Or of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.